Good morning, welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We have some mostly cloudy conditions and humid weather. We start today, the day, seeing temperatures already near 80 degrees as of 8 a.m. this morning. Going to see temperatures rise in the mid-80s today before cloud cover really starts to thicken up this afternoon. And then I'll provide us with uh, temperatures topping out in the upper 80s today, excuse me, mid-80s today. We'll see a good chance of showers and uh, isolated thunderstorms to move in through the afternoon hours and the evening hours. We have Tropical Storm Elsa moving through the region for this evening into the early overnight hours. That's going to give us a period of some uh, breezy to windy conditions, some heavier rainfall, and some isolated thunderstorms. Taking a look at our current surface analysis, you can see uh, high pressure still off the east coast. Elsa is starting to ride along the southeast and inland from the coast, giving a uh, areas of South Carolina and to North Carolina this morning, some rainfall and some breezy conditions. I'll be moving up into our region for uh, this evening into the overnight hours. We have a upper level trough that's going to be allowing also to maintain strength or strengthen slightly as it moves towards our region for this evening into the overnight hours. And that'll give us an additional chance of some showers, and thunderstorms, this trough will for Friday evening. Taking a look at our current conditions of 815, a few clouds around 2,000 feet, a scattered deck of 20,000 feet, broken deck of 25,000 feet, winds out of the south-southwest at 9 knots, temperature 80, 80 degrees, excuse me, and relative humidity at 82%. So taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see Elsa with that dense overcast uh, cloud coverage north and east of the center of low is moving towards the region and uh, you can see we do have some cloud cover moving ahead of that towards our area currently and over our area and we'll start to thicken up that cloud coverage and taking a look at elsa current advisory is at eight o'clock it's 40 mile an hour sustained winds moving northeast to 18 miles an hour and taking a look at the infrared imagery of elsa this morning you can see it's becoming more bear clinic in nature or more uh, non-tropical or extra tropical, I should say, and this uh, is indicated uh, by the colder cloud tops north and east of the system and uh, really showing that uh, that trough interaction is starting to take place and will allow it to become extra tropical or baroclinic. As we look at the three kilometer HER model, you can see it does bring in that rain shower activity around three to four o'clock this afternoon, some isolated thunderstorms as well and then brings through Elsa around midnight tonight with some heavier rain showers, some gusty winds, possibly up to 45 miles an hour, and then moving through during the overnight hours with uh, some breezy to windy conditions out of the southwest overnight, and then we'll see skies quickly clearing by tomorrow morning as Elsa races off to the northeast, and then we'll see a chance of some showers and thunderstorms starting to develop and move through the region for our Friday evening mostly in the isolated variety, so looking about a 20 to 30 percent chance of those showers and thunderstorms for our Friday evening into the early night over hour, early overnight hours excuse me of Saturday. So looking at our risk chart for today, we'll have a high around 86, tonight a low of 74. We'll see that rainfall really starting to move in after about three o'clock this afternoon and then we'll see some heavier rainfall after about eight o'clock this evening or 20 local and then i'll be lasting till just after midnight we'll see our best chance of thunderstorms from 1800 local till midnight at 50 percent and a slight chance um, bookending those chances at 30 percent between 14 and 1800 local as well as a 20 percent chance from midnight till two local on friday morning our winds look like they'll be around 20 to 30 knots at the peak sustained, possibly gusting up as high as 40 knots, so right around 45 miles an hour. And we'll see those winds become quite breezy this afternoon as well. So expecting a wind advisory to be issued this afternoon that will uh, most likely cover the rest of the evening into the overnight hours. As far as the heavy rainfall potential, have highlighted that here, uh, as I mentioned during the evening hours into the early overnight hours. We will have a chance of some stronger to severe thunderstorms as well as the system moves through. We'll have increased wind shear, so uh, can't rule out isolated tornadoes across the region. Uh, most likely won't occur, but with uh, tropical systems, that is, uh, can easily happen with that wind shear across the region. 
As we move into our 24-hour terminal forecast, going to see, uh, as I mentioned, increasing cloud coverage this afternoon, uh, mainly in the mid-levels. And then once the rain shower activity does move in, especially after 1800 local this evening, we'll see those lower ceilings below 3,000 feet and most likely below 2,000 feet. As I mentioned, we have those thunderstorm chances today, a 15% chance of very slight between noon and 2 o'clock or 1400 local this afternoon and then seeing a 30% chance from 14 to 1800 local, a 50% between 18 and midnight, and then a 20% chance from midnight to 2 a.m. We'll continue those rain shower chances through tomorrow morning, but should see some clearing by the time we get to Friday 8 local with those rain showers moving off to the northeast. Our tides will be slightly above normal with that southeasterly surge in our winds tonight. Should see those tides uh, rise a little bit above normal. Not going to see much of a surge with this as it will be a quick moving system and the uh, winds out of the southeast will only last a few hours. As far as Friday and Saturday go, we'll see mostly cloudy and breezy conditions early on Friday, then partly cloudy, warm and humid, and we'll have those chances of showers and thunderstorms by the evening. A high of 87 looks like about a 30% chance of those showers and thunderstorms on Friday evening. We'll see a slight chance of winds above 25 knots during the morning on Friday. Friday night, mostly cloudy with a chance of a shower or thunderstorm during the evening and early overnight hours, then partly cloudy, a low of 73. And for Saturday, partly cloudy and less humid, a high of 86 see a green chart across the board for Saturday. Well, that's going to complete our 815 daily operations weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day. We'll be back to the set later this morning at 10 a.m.